Welcome back to the channel and thank you for watching and please do consider smashing that like button at any point during this video. So the 24th of June has come and gone. That was the day before which post-judgment motions should be filed or a settlement might have been reached between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard in respect of the $8.35 million net judgment by the unanimous jury verdict. Of course, no settlement was reached. You've probably heard by now that Amber Heard is now officially on the hook for the $8.35 million. The judgment is final and Amber has indicated that she is going to appeal. But the judge has says you can appeal, but it's going to cost you. Specifically, that she's got to put up a bond for the full judgment amount, plus what presumably is interest at 6% which is an additional $621,000. Appealing a jury verdict is going to be a significant task and one that will probably prove fatal and almost impossible for Amber and her team. She put out in a statement that you don't decline to appeal if you know you are right. However, it might well be the case that she's just throwing money away on a pointless exercise. In any such appeal, the appellate court is not going to retry the case. It's not going to hear new evidence and it's not going to hear witnesses. There is no jury and it is only going to limit the review to the procedures and the decisions that were made at trial to ensure that all of the proceedings were fair and that the proper law was applied throughout the trial. Of course, each side can appeal, so the question remains as to whether Johnny Depp's team is going to appeal the one decision that went in favour of Amber Heard. However, I think that is somewhat unlikely. I think Johnny Depp is done. I think he realises that now with this jury unanimous verdict that he feels he has cleared his name and that's the end of the matter. As for what I think about the prospects of appeal, I think it's slim to none. As with any appeal, they are extremely rarely successful and there needs to be some significant error of procedure or law, none of which we can really see throughout this trial, so personally I think it is extremely unlikely. In the meantime, as I said, the judge has ordered that Amber must post a bond in the full amount of Johnny Depp's judgment plus 6%. And as I said, presumably that is an interest penalty for the delay in collecting the judgment debt. But in the meantime, the verdict is final, the judgment is final and has now been entered. So I guess we'll now have to wait to see what arguments, if any, are raised in an appeal. And of course, we'll come back and talk about those. But in the meantime, if you would please hit the like button and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.